Okay, I'm back. It's Monk Chips in three minutes. Today, what am I talking about? I'm talking about GitHub Satellite. I was at the conference a couple of weeks back and uh, I've been struggling to get that blog post out, so I thought it was time to make a video to talk about some of the things I think are important. So let's talk first about black holes. So Satellite in Berlin, it opened with a wonderful image. It started with uh, like a great story should, with something cosmic, with a black hole indeed. And it was the black hole with an image created by, or an image created by a team led by Dr. Katie Bowman. So she wasn't actually able to get there. Uh, they had a satellite link. She talked about the fact that what she's doing is, is working with a team. There are dependencies here. This is not one person. Science doesn't work that way. There were like 200 people involved. So then what happened, they're like, ah, here is the core team. So they're all standing on stage. It's like, this is amazing. Here are the people that took the image of the black hole, moving, moving human progress forward. Um, but then they said, hang on a second, let's look at projects like NumPy, because obviously this is a lot of AI, a lot of machine learning there, and um, all of the contributors that might have been involved in all of the projects, and I think there were something like 21,485,000 ,000 people had directly contributed in terms of the open source libraries that were used in creating that uh, canonical image that we've seen, that amazing step forward in science. And, and then they said, well, we'll introduce some of those people as well. So they all turned around. They had people that didn't know they'd been involved in that scientific breakthrough. I know that's kind of really amazing. It said a lot about this world we live in. If you think about science, if you think about software development in the age of open source, how connected everything is, and how we're all making a contribution. Like someone might've just added some documentation to NumPy and they helped be involved in that science. So that was really amazing. They had a presentation then about security. It's like what GitHub can do to help with security. We've begun to see moves in this direction. Uh, things like scanning your, your code for security keys uh, that might be able to uh, uh, create an attack on, on your software. You know, let's not do that. So it becomes part of good hygiene. GitHub will do that for you in an automated fashion. Then out's the acquisition of Dependabot, which will actually look at um, the, the, the source code that, that you rely on in other repos. And if you need to make changes in your code, it'll notify you then and make the change for you. So GitHub basically is hygiene factors, making that easier for people to deliver secure code. They added something else, which I thought was really interesting, which was trusted workspaces, trusted advisory workspaces. So that people, if, there's a, if there is a, a vulnerability, let's have a private place where people can discuss this. This is super important because basically at the moment, it can be quite confrontational. Someone finds a vulnerability, um, people are like, you know, fingers in their ears, la la la, I'm not listening, even though that could create a vulnerability more broadly. So the industry as a whole needs to move forward. I'd like to see all of these sorts of players, you know, people I know, some of my clients, people like Semmel, um, people like SneakSec, uh, and GitHub get together and really standardize the procedure, the protocol for dealing with security vulnerabilities so it's less confrontational and we can all move forward and make sure that we have better better and more secure software. That's Monk Chips in three minutes.